What's going on everyone? It's Dr. Stephen Loam, lifestyle medicine cardiologist, and today we're going to be talking about why it is that you need to be focusing on your heart health right now. So I think this is a crazy important topic because every single day in my clinical practice, I have somebody sitting in front of me that I need to motivate and inspire to make significant dramatic lifestyle changes to help their overall cardiovascular health. But what I want to do right now in this video is just give you 10 simple main reasons as to why it is that you need to start working right now at this moment for your overall cardiovascular health. Don't wait till tomorrow, don't wait till next year, don't think, hey, I'm too busy, I'm too stressed right now. No, it has to be right now. So, reason number one, heart disease is the number one cause of death in America, and it has been for more than 100 years in a row. This is crazy, think about this. Just as many people died from heart disease last year as the number of American soldiers that died in all wars in American history combined ever. That's absolutely nuts. Now, look at it in perspective. This is how many people, this yellow circle, is how many people died from heart and circulatory disorders. Compare that to that dinky dot of war. Pregnancy and birth complications, murder, suicide. Look at how small those are in perspective. Heart disease is the world's number one killer. One out of three people will die from heart disease. Two out of three people will be affected by cardiovascular disease in their lifetime. And you do know somebody that has cardiovascular disease, whether it's a family member, a friend, or look at these celebrities. There are so many different people that have heart disease. It is all over the place. One of the best known celebrities with heart disease is Bill Clinton. Bypass surgery in 2004, failed in 2010. Ever since then, what has he been doing? Whole food plant-based diet, and he says it's the only reason why he's still alive at his current age in his 70s. He's the oldest male Clinton in five generations because everybody else died from heart disease, which again is not genetic, purely. Genes load the gun, diet and lifestyle pulls the trigger. So we need to focus on our heart health because heart disease is most likely the disease that's going to get you in the end. Reason number two. Heart disease is preventable. This is crazy. It blows my mind away every single time when I think about this, that we let this many people die from a disease that we have a cure for. 600,000 Americans die every single year and we have a cure. If some other country was killing 600,000 Americans every single year, we would let that happen. We would blow them away. We would go to war with them, right? But why the heck is it that we let 600,000 Americans die every year from a disease that we have a cure for? Well, that's the topic for another video, which will be coming out soon, but it's just really still blows my mind away when you really think about it, that we can prevent nearly 100% of heart disease just through diet and lifestyle change. So how is it, you ask, that we can prevent nearly 100% of heart disease? Well, drive that LDL cholesterol crazy low and protect your endothelium from damage at all costs. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than that. There's lots of different moving parts and other factors involved, but really, if you get that cholesterol down real low, especially from a super young age, your risk of cardiovascular disease will be crazy low, especially if you're protecting your endothelium from injury. Now, I'm gonna do a whole video just on how you can prevent and even reverse heart disease. So reason number three, you could actually help save other people's lives as well. This is crazy, it's great, it's inspiring because you think that he doctors do all these great things, they do these surgeries, procedures, they save people's lives. You know what? You could do the same thing. You may not be a doctor, you may not be a nurse, you may not even be in the healthcare field, but once you know the power of lifestyle medicine, the power of nutrition, specifically plant-based nutrition, now you have the power to save someone else's life. You all know a family member or a friend who's obese, diabetic, heart disease, whatever, suffering from some chronic disease which is related to nutrition or an unhealthy lifestyle. Well, you can read up on good nutrition, read some books, watch some videos, and it's all you really need to just tell somebody, hey, listen, you need to eat more plant-based, you need to stay active, you need to lose weight, stop smoking, whatever that lifestyle change is. But that's the one thing that you can do. You have the power to save other people's lives, which is awesome. So that's reason number three. Reason number four to focus on your heart health right now is heart disease is a silent killer. 
you frequently may not have any symptoms of heart disease until boom, a heart attack hits you, or even worse, the first symptom in one out of three people with heart disease is sudden death. So you never know when it's gonna happen. And heart disease actually starts in childhood. It starts when you're young. And it's slowly your arteries clog up over the decades, over decades, over decades, depending on your lifestyle and your diet habits and do you smoke, are you sedentary, etc. And so it creeps up on you. So the sooner you start being healthy, the less likely it is that you're gonna lay down that huge foundation of artery clogging, the foundation of plaque in your arteries. You wanna prevent that from happening. So we wanna really do that from a super young age. How do we stop the clogging of arteries? Well, again, that's gonna be another video coming up soon. So reason number five to start focusing on your heart health right now, you're just gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy, better mobility, better mood, more self-confidence, better stamina, erectile dysfunction will go away for men in most cases, and you're just gonna sleep better. Overall, you're just gonna feel so much better. Who doesn't wanna feel better? Eating clean, staying active, losing weight will give you so much energy. Reason number six, being heart healthy is going to save you a ton of money. Now, yeah, it really does. If you think about it, not only you prevent hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, stroke, cancer, autoimmune diseases, all these different things. And of course, medical bills, pills, and all that stuff. That's a lot of money. Going to see the doctor all the time, the pharmacy costs from the medications, any testing that you have to do. And uh, of course, if you get admitted to the hospital even one time, that's a ton of money. But guess what? The food when you're eating clean is actually way cheaper than when you're not eating clean. Yeah, I get it. Processed foods are subsidized by the government. They can be real cheap. But think about this. Beans, beans, good for your heart. They're a buck a pound or less, right? Compare that to the cost of chicken or beef. Yeah, if you're eating a lot of highly processed plant-based foods or whatever, sure, that could be more expensive. If you're getting pre-prepared foods or eating out a lot, yeah, that's expensive. But if you cook at home, potatoes, beans, rice, those things are actually really cheap. Get some frozen vegetables. You'll save money on food as well. So really, being healthy will save you a lot of money, not only in the short term for food costs, but in the long term for medical bills and medications, which is really, really super important. So reason number seven, why you should focus on your heart health right now, it's actually much easier than you think. You know, like learning a new skill. If I said, hey man, you need to learn how to play a guitar, an instrument, you get out there and you learn it. And you can play it pretty good within a couple weeks of, of practicing, right? Watch some videos, take a little lesson here and there. You'll get the basics down. Well, it's the same thing with eating clean. You gotta learn some new recipes, just jump right in. And it's not as hard as you think. The hardest thing is more of giving up the food addictions, the sugar addiction, the salt addiction, the fatty taste addiction, processed foods, junk foods. Getting rid of that is, is the hardest thing to do, really. But learning the food, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's fun and it is something that'll be easier than what you really think it is. So reason number eight is it can actually be quite fun. You know, it's not only is the food spectacular, but it is a journey. It's like a crazy journey that you can go on. You can say, listen, I've lived my whole life and I've been eating these same foods. This is the way I was raised. Now I can go out and I can look and I can see all these wonderful whole plant foods that I could eat that are going to be full of fiber and micronutrients and they're going to help prevent and reverse chronic diseases instead of these other things which are making me feel tired and sluggish. And so it's, it's just a crazy new journey. You go to the store now, you know, you're used to picking up your bananas and your lettuce and your apples and your same veggies and your meat and all that stuff. Now you can look at that produce department with a whole different view. You can say, look at all the stuff that's out there. I've never seen this stuff before. I never really looked at it. I'm going to find a way to make a recipe with this. So really, it's, it's a crazy journey. And you got to look at it that way. It's an adventure. And if you make it an adventure, an exciting endeavor to go on, it's going to be a lot more fun and a lot more sustainable. So have a good time with it. Reason number nine to focus on right now, simply, you're going to live longer. And not only live longer, you're going to live better. What's the saying? The saying is something like this. Our current healthcare system does a good job of adding years to your life, but we don't do a good job of adding life to your years. Meaning so many people nowadays with all these pills and procedures that we've developed through all of our crazy high-tech technology and science, they might help you live longer, but now you're taking so many pills, you're being hospitalized, having surgeries, you're sitting in a nursing home at the age of 70 or 80 in poor health, not able to move around, not enjoying the life that you want to enjoy. So really reason number nine is you want to live long and live well with your marbles intact, staying active, 
doing the things that you really want to do with your life. <clears throat> Reason number 10 as to why you should focus on your heart health right now. We're not talking about how to ride a bike here. Why should, is it that I should learn how to ride a bike? Why is it that I should go and learn how to knit? No, we're saying, why is it that I should try not to die? Why is it that I should focus on preventing the number one thing that's most likely to kill me? That's what we're talking about. It really is a no-brainer. you got to make your heart health a priority. Life is an important thing. It should be important to you. And of course, even if it's not as important to you, it's important to your loved ones. They want you to stay around, right? So we're talking about life and death here. This is something that we really, really need to focus on because we can prevent heart disease. So that's the quick summary of 10 reasons why it is that you should focus on your own heart health right now. Let me know what you think. Do you have another reason? Please mention it in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think here. And uh, look at my social media links down below. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Let me know what other topics that you want. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.